All right, guys. The first dinosaur we're going to be talking about is the Carnotaurus. It is a genus of a theropod dinosaur that lived in the South America during the late Cretaceous period, probably sometime between 72 and 69.9 million years ago. The only species is Carnotaurus saturae, known for a single well-preserved skeleton. It's one of the best understood theropods from the southern hemisphere. The skeleton found in 1984 was uncovered in the Chuba province of Argentina from rocks of La Colonia formation. Carnotaurus is a derived member of the Albeliosauridae, a group of large theropods that occupied the large uh, predatorial niche in the southern landmasses of Gondwana during the late Cretaceous. Within the Al Albeliosaurs, the genus is often considered a member of the Brachyrostra, a clade of sh short snouted forms of restricted to South America. Carnotaurus was a lightly built bipedal predator measuring 7.5 to 9 meters, 24.6 to 29.5 feet, in length and weighing at least 1.35 metric tons, 1.33 long tons, 1.49 short tons. As a theropod, Carnotaurus was highly specialized and distinctive. It had thick horns above his eyes, a feature unseen in all carnivorous dinosaurs, and a very deep skull sitting on a muscular neck. Carnotaurus was further characterized by small vesicle forelimbs and long slender hind limbs. The skull measuring 59.6 centimeters to 23.5 inches in length was proportionally shorter and deeper than in any other large carnivorous dinosaur. The snout was moderately broad, not as tapering as seen in more basal theropods like Ceratosaurus, and the jaws were curved upwards. A prominent pair of horns protruded ob obliquely above the eyes. These horns formed by the frontal bones. 